Hey there folks, welcome to the Main Man Channel. I am sorry for the sun in your eyes. Hopefully we'll get ahead of this sun pretty quickly. Anyways, so this is probably Hard Times Video Part 4. And even though they were hard times, you know, they were not all bad times, you know. Anyways, so we're going to talk about a little bit more about my growing up on Dayton Mountain. And uh, so y'all kind of know where that is, and so y'all can kind of Google it. Dayton Mountain is in between Pikeville and Dayton. That's the two biggest towns really, really close to it. And they're not really that big towns. Pikeville is about half the size of Dayton. Dayton is about twice as big as Pikeville and probably about three or four times as many people live in there. So, and this is Dayton, Tennessee and Pikeville, Tennessee. I lived on the Bledsoe County side of it, which was, uh, which meant Pikeville, Tennessee was the county seat. And then, uh, of course, Dayton's county, uh, Dayton was in Ray County. And of course, the Ray County seat is in Dayton, okay? But anyways, if you go back in the history, at one time, there weren't a Bledsoe County and a, and a Ray County. It was actually all part of Roan County to begin with. And Roan County was a big old huge county. But they broke it up and uh, it ended up being part of Hamilton County, I think, for a while, and they ended up breaking it up even farther than that. So that's how you had uh, Ray County and uh, uh, Bledsoe County. Like I say, I, I grew up on the Bledsoe County side of it, right across the Ray County line. And uh, so I went to Bledsoe County schools and all that stuff, but anyway, we're getting back into what it's like living on the mountain okay and i know i've already talked to you about the well water and stuff we never could drink it and when the well was working good times was good when the well was working bad times was bad and all that good stuff but uh let's talk about how the weather was out there okay so i don't know the exact elevation of dayton mountain summer city is the community i grew up in that way you can google that and see where it's at if you want to uh but we actually, it seemed like our seasons were a little bit more stable on the mountain, especially when I was a, a kid, because I guess because it's a little bit higher up and uh, everything. And uh, it just seemed like, especially when I was a kid, we actually, I mean, Tennessee weather's always been crazy. And you could always expect an extra warm week in Tennessee. You know, in the wintertime or an extra colder week in the summertime in Tennessee or something like that, you know, vice versa. Because Tennessee weather has always been weird. But just where we're at and the, where how depends on where the jet stream's at, if it's above us or below us and all that good stuff, you know, all that technical stuff. But it seemed like the seasons were more stable out there when I was a kid. And the seasons were more stable in Tennessee back then. I'm talking about the 80s and 90s. It just seemed like they were more stable back then. But anyways, so in the wintertime, you would be about seven, eight degrees colder than it was in uh, the valleys, okay, on either side. And then uh, in the... Uh, summertime at night you'd be about seven or eight degrees cooler than the valley but when that sun started popping out and it started warming up there'd be a time of day you was seven or eight degrees hotter than you was in the valley so that's the difference so the hottest part of the day if it said it was 97 in Dayton I'm telling y'all, it'd be over a hundred on the mountain. So you had some hot winters and some hot sun. I mean, you had some cold winters and some hot summers. You sure did. And then uh, during the winter time, that difference in uh, temperature, it really, really 
made a difference out there. That difference in temperature did. What it did was, say it was 38 in the valley, well, that would put you right at about 30, 32. Depending on how the how much of the difference there was that day, it's usually about six, seven, eight degrees. Usually about eight degrees difference. So you'd be at freezing. So if it was raining in the valley, it was snowing on the mountain, and it was sticking. So <laughs> we had some interesting winters and stuff. Uh, but snow days was always welcome. Uh, we had good power lines out there, and we hardly ever lost power. The only time we would lose power is during a bad thunderstorm. Okay, it might blow a transformer or something. But in the winter time, those lines, I mean, they was just tough. That uh, Dayton Power Board, Dayton Electric, they, uh, they had some good lines out there. But you always look forward to the snow days in the, uh, in the winter time because you got off school. And if you got off school, you got to watch TV, you got to play in the snow, you got to play your video games, your Nintendo or whatever, because there ain't a whole lot much else you can do. You can't make it to town. So those were, those were some interesting times and those were some good times. And uh, I'm telling you guys, there was probably only four or five snows in my whole childhood out there where we actually got snowed in completely. And what I mean by that is we got so snowed in that uh, we couldn't make it to town either way. You know, it was pretty rough, pretty bad. But anyways, I'm going to wrap this up right here and call it, call it quits on this video. And uh, we're going to actually do another Hard Times video where we're going to talk about the snow. And uh, just dedicate a total video to that. But anyways, thank you for watching the Main Man channel. I get 200 subscribers. I can give away that Smith & Wesson pocket knife. The link will be in the description. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you next time.